Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and I'm back for more Let's Play Grandion. As I walk through Welcome, oh. he who holds the Spirit Stone. I'll shut up now. Did you say something, Sue? Looks cool! Time for a cutscene. And yeah, here we go. Whoa! Oh. Eek! What was that? Welcome, he who holds the spirit stone. Symbol of the promise between the humans and the spirits. Who... who are you? I am Liette of Alent. I have lived through and inherited the history of Angelo. What? W what's going on? Don't be scared. This is the land you live in, when seen from the height of the stars. Come. Please tell me. What were you seeking when you opened the door? Gee, you're, uh, sort of putting me on the spot. Hey! How did you know that I have a spirit stone? All power is born from the light of the Spirit Stone. Without it, the door of Angelo does not open. But Angelo is just a mythical world. It is no myth. The stone that you hold is the ancient symbol of the promise between the humans and spirits. Look. A world created by an eternal promise between the light of the spirits and the wings of the Icarians. This is the world of Angelo. The light of the Icarians and the grace of the spirits will not wane lest all of the stars sparkling in the sky turn to embers. Ever since receiving the blessing of the spirits, the people unyoked themselves of the original restrictions and began to walk along the path of evolution. The light of the Icarians and that of the Spirit Stones are the symbols of peace in this world. Loading. I thought so too. If so, how are the myths related to the Angelo civilization? Uh, Liete, is that your name? Please tell me, are those myths true? Please tell me, Lietti. Are the myths of Angelo true? I've got lots of questions.
towards the east? Alent? Could that mean... You want me to cross the sea and go to Alencia, the New World? Liette, is Alent? Will I be able to meet you in the New World, Liette? If I go to the New World, can I meet the real Liette and the real Icarians? Wait, Liette! like a dream. What's that? The spirit stone. It's shining. It is real. That's right. This is really a spirit stone. The Eddie and everything we've seen is no fairy tale. It's all real. I've decided I'm going to a Lent gonna meet the Icarians. I'm gonna discover the Angelo civilization and surprise everyone. And then, and then, oh wow, anyways, I'm going to a Lent for sure. The only one who can do it is me, the adventurer Justin. Yes, I'm gonna show him. And with that, we start our game. Awesome. We have an overarching storyline now. See why I say that this is one of the most awesome games to ever be on the PlayStation 1? Eh, let's hit the button. And let's get out. Oh, crap. Who goes there? Yikes, we're busted! What is a child doing here? Where'd you come from? Lean, go secure the exit. I have many questions for you two. Don't think you can get away. I'll figure out something. If you do not answer truthfully, know that your life is in jeopardy. I understand. But one who makes a fool of me, even a child. First, tell me your name. My name is Justin. So you decided to answer truthfully. That girl has been calling out your name. Now, be prepared before you answer. Continue your foolish obstinacy, and that girl will die too. It's unavoidable. The line of duty, my boy, remember that this girl's life is in your hands. Did you open the door into here? I guess I did open it, huh? My, my, is that so? But neither the adventurers nor our men could open it until now. Now I shall ask you another question. What exactly did you see in the depths of these ruins? Strange lights and ancient images. Strange lights? Spirits? Could be images from the early ages of Angelo's civilization. Hmm, I see. There still are people like you who have the spirit of adventure. Don't worry, Lean. Angelo is a major military secret. We'll keep them as informants. My dear, sorry, but you will never see your family again. Don't worry, Sue. The two of us can take care of these guys. My, my. But even if you escape here, there's still one trap ahead. You'll never escape Salt Ruins. <laughs> so how do you plan to escape from me? Hmm, okay. Here goes. It's sink or swim. Sue, let's go. You spin me round, baby, round, right, round, like a record, baby, round, 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 right, round. So this is how it works. Come back here. Uh, yeah, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can't trap them forever. Oh, well. 
Off we go! Yes, I'm having a snack while I record. So professional. Uh-oh. It's a boss fight! That's what it is! This is, in fact, our very first boss fight, and it's not too hard. Rock burn! First thing you want to do with Justin is critical hit. Keep the rock bird from having a turn. Sue? Um, critical hit. Same thing. We want the rock bird constantly delayed because this thing hits hard. And you really, really can't afford to have it hitting you. Here it goes. What you really want to do is hit it at just the right time so that it cancels its attack. Face left. And... Ooh! Yeah, that cancelled it. Sort of. Nope. Oh, damn it. You know what? Let's V-slash him again. You can do it twice in a round. Ooh, he's almost down. Puffy kick. Big win. Yeah, baby. And that's how you win your first boss fight. Big win, puppy. Really, it's that simple. Wow, almost got the weapon skill up. So, with that, what was that? That wasn't there when we came in. Doesn't matter. Anyways, let's get out of here. Whee! I can't believe it. They defeated the rock bird, too. <laughs> Those guys are amazing. They managed to escape even me. Having a little information about the Angelo civilization get out will not undermine our plans. Let him go. I respect his recklessness. What was the name of that boy? Justin. Quite a character he is. I had fun for the first time in a while. <laughs> so yeah, Colonel Mullen is kind of a bad guy. Alright, we got away. <laughs> What a dream! I did have a great adventure. Okay. Recover. And save the game. I want to do this kind of often. Why? Because paranoid, that's why. And there we go. Now, I did get a bit further in the game after I completed this recording on my secondary save file. Dressmaker's late. I'm going to be late getting her dressed to Sergeant Nana. I don't have time for this. Clean, shop, take out the trash, get coffee. My schedule's just full. But Sue, you got to understand, my creed is to do the utmost in any job I'm given. Okay. Franz is a cool character. Oh, wait. Before we go. There was some sort of commotion inside. That wasn't you, was it? Of course not. Right, Sue? Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, Colonel Mullen is, um, kind of a bad guy? Sort of? I mean, he's a ruthless military guy, but, yeah. Alright, time to go home. Because there's pretty much nothing else for us to do. Mom says exactly the same thing. Sure you can. You can complain all you want. 
getting used to the layout of this town. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? It wasn't me. I may be absent-minded, but I do remember all the mischief I do. No, 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 not her. Huh? Mr. Painterman, what you doing here? I'm searching for a model. I have a hard time finding the perfect woman to be my model. Whatever. Time to go to the Parm General Store and re-outfit. Because now we have more than enough gold to get everything we need. Okay. Get sportswear for Sue. Sneakers for them both. Always trade. It's cheaper. And saves on inventory space. Like gloves for mittens. Uh, oh yeah, I have to actually buy that one. There we go. And then sportswear for Sue. Do it. Now, if I was smart, I would have. Let's see, did I? No, um. Yeah. Matter of fact, I did. Good, I was kind of smart. Don't actually need the axe anymore. Although, realistically, you could actually keep Justin having axe. And a uh, bat and a sword. Why? Because it's a really good idea to keep switching between them. Rune Ring is useless. So let's get rid of those. Alright. Now I bet you've been wondering about those magic stats. How do we increase magic stats? Because we've been through several levels so far. And we haven't gotten to use them. We haven't gotten to use any magic. Well, we're not going to get some magic until we get to New Parm. It's that simple. There isn't any magic on the old continent. Hey, Rocco, what you doing here? Why don't you play with the others? Yo! You, Justin! Don't surprise me like that! I thought you were my mom! Okay. Is there anything else we need to do? Man, never heard of that. Who told you that rumor? <laughs> sure makes him happy, though. Uh, let's just go home and go eat. Of course I know. We just need to get on a ship. Uh, well, we just... I know, we'll just ask Mom. She's sure to know. Great, I'm really hungry. Say, Mom, how can we get on a ship to the new continent? That's it. That's one way to do it. Come on, Sue, we're going to the port tomorrow. Not plain. With an introduction from the curator, we went to the salt mines and we were doing scientific research. What's so funny? I wonder what scientific research it means anyways. Yes! Now he might forgive me for breaking the- Oh, damn it.
Hey, I know. The end of the world is where the world ends on the new continent, right? Hmm, but you know, there's something I don't quite understand. Is there really an end to the world? We'll never know if we don't go. Anyway, let's go to the port tomorrow. That was delicious. I'm full. Okay, so it's time to go to the port, find out just how we get to get on a ship. This is a minor but fun fetch quest. It's the funny thing about this game, everything is fun to do. You don't really run into grinding opportunities until you're off the farm. And off of Melusina. So, yes, I'm still eating. So, you know, there's a really good flow to the game. Hey, you kids. Ah, dude, you're such a big shot. Can't you even let me in for a little while? Oh, another day of washing dishes. Pay isn't that bad. Ah, he's important. Ah, uh, I'm not voicing him. Or this. Okay, talk to this guy. Steamer pass! Aha! I need to know about a steamer pass. Okay, we have to get to the cafe. Good to know. Java! Okay, we need to get a steamer pass from Java. So, we need to talk to the owner of the cafe so that we can get in there. Come on, let's go. Off we go. Here we are. Say there, we want to see an adventure who comes in this cafe. Can we come in, ma'am? Hmm, so someone took the key of the cafe and went somewhere, right? Alright, I'll go find him for you. We just ran into this guy. So if you're following along on your own copy of Grandia, you know exactly where to go. In fact, if you find this anywhere, play it. This is a wonderful game. You should know by now, I can't shut up about this game. Right, it has to be. Hey sir, do you happen to have the key to the cafe? And quest done. Yeah, yeah. I'm not voicing everything like I usually do. Mostly because I can't shut up about this game. I really like it. I know, I know. I don't say that often, but damn. This game really is that good. Okay, which way are we going? There we go. Go back over here. Give the key to the lady. Ma'am, ma'am, I found it. Is this it? The key to the cafe. I'm so glad, ma'am. So, as you promised... And we immediately skip to... It's taken a long time, Mullen, and the difficulties have been great. Yes, I apologize, Father. There were unforeseen distractions. Refrain from giving me excuses. Just tell me the results. Did you find it? Forgive me, Father. I have not lived up to your expectations. I am prepared for the consequences. 
consequences. Mullen, if you are not capable of producing results, who is? I can think of no one. Make preparations for the next strategic plan. Prepare to move out. He is probably just very tired. Father has his own way of looking at things. Your comments are not required. Lieutenant Lean, I didn't mean it that way. At any rate, we got nothing from the salt expedition. <laughs> that boy was amusing. Justin, I believe. I was thinking it'd be nice to have at least one in our ranks with as much energy as that boy. At least we would be certain things would never be boring. <laughs> Lean, prepare for departure. Destination, Elancia. Foreshadowing. Yay, off we go to the cafe. And our first night scene. Do 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 do. And there we are. Cafe. Whee! Here it is. I've never been to a cafe before. Sort of exciting. They don't serve alcohol here. They serve coffee. <laughs> cool. But Miss Carillion, do we do anything you need to thank us for? What? That old lady? That was you, Miss Carillion? Can't be! Okay. Wow, this really hits the spot. Old World Coffee isn't bad. Sir, you must be from the new continent. You came by ship, right? That's right. The ship just came into port. Faster than I expected. You like ships? Visit the port. You ought to be able to see the ship I came in on tied up at the pier. Java, you say? Oh, you must mean that self-styled great adventure, Java from Lick. Not sure about self-styled, but please tell me about that, Mr. Java. They say young Java was the best adventure on Messenia. But since adventure ain't went out of style, his only joy has been hanging around the cafe telling stories. They took the adventure away from the adventure, so now he's holed up at Lek Mines. That old man Java, he's so loud when he's here, but it's too quiet when he's not. Maybe I ought to take up some coffee meetings to him at Lek Mines. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Gee, gods, how ridiculous! I come all the way from the new world, but the excavation work is finished! Guess I'll tour the old world and go home. They don't have tourist traps like the end of the world. The end of the world is a tourist trap? Have you been there? Fool! No one's been there! I just saw it! I SAW IT! Pippi? Is that? It's you, Pippi. What are you doing here? Hey, <laughs> you got it. Actually, I'm going tomorrow. Yay! To get to Lek Mines, we just take the train from the station, right? No problem. Leave it to me. So, okay, we got Java's wallet, we're going to be good Samaritans and return it, and then everything will be happy and hunky-dory, and we'll have the steamer pass, and we'll go to New Parm, and nothing bad will happen. I'm sure of it. And there's the entrance. <laughs> oh, 
Uh-oh. Crap. Ow. What was that for, Mom? See? M my shoes aren't so muddy. Yes, ma'am. Wonder if he's a great adventurer. I can't wait to meet Mr. Java. Of course, Mom. I'm an adventurer. Yes, sir. -y. Even I'm nearly not not nearly that forgetful. Uh huh. That was delicious. I'm full. The next morning. Wee. Can you believe that this episode is almost halfway over? Yeah, me neither. We still have a long way to go. But oh, believe you me, the story get, just gets better. It doesn't stop getting better. Well, there you are, Justin. Come to see the engine room again? Not this time. I'm going to lick mines to bring something to Java he forgot. Must be something important. Don't worry about the tickets. Just today, it's on the house. And in we go. Whee! Normally I'd hang around and do stuff, but I don't care. Let's go. By the way, the model for that train only has two wheels. Don't know why, but it does. I hope you guys don't mind, but for these hour-long episodes, I'm actually thinking of putting in a commercial break in the middle of the episode, at around the 30-minute mark. So, um... This will be the first episode where that happens. I know this warning is coming a little late. But now you guys know that'll be the split point from now on. Is the 30 minute mark. Of course we will. Thanks. Mostly I want to put the add space in there, not to um, interrupt the story for you guys, but to give you guys a break. This is an hour-long event. I mean, come on. You gotta be tired of listening to me after half an hour. Right? Huh? No one's home. How careless. Oh well, I'll just leave his wallet here. Hey you! Who are you? Bird, you need my cash or like this? Why, you're a couple of thieves! Get away from my wallet! Yowzer! No, you got it wrong! We came to get a pass! <laughs> Let it slip, did you? You can't be too careful nowadays. Come on, give up quietly! I'll cut out your rotten hearts! Hey there, little girl! Used to be an adventurer? Ah! Used to be! Ah! I'm an active adventurer even now! Excuse me, we came to ask you a favor, Mr. Java. Actually... Five hours later... And that's the story. I see. You want my pass to the new world, hmm? Hmm. Now, boy, let me ask you one thing. What will you do on the new world? I want to go east. I'll head for Angelo, awaiting me on the new world. What? Angelo, you say? <laughs> that takes the cake. <laughs> oh, come on, it's no joke. <laughs> Sorry about that, but Angelo. 
Angelo really exists. I know it. Hmm. I understand you just fine. Depending on the circumstances, I might just give you my pass. Really? So give me, thank you. Don't be ridiculous! Who said you're getting it for free? Overcome the trial before you and you may get that which you desire. That's the way of an adventurer! Yee! Alright! I'll take on that trial. Well said! Listen, never lose that spirit! <laughs> well, I'll give you a trial. Follow me. We're going to the mines and back. Come on, no dilly dallying. And we auto follow. Loading. Whee! Uh -huh. This is the entrance to Lek Mines. Monsters have been living somewhere in back there. I can't stand their noisy groans. If you manage to slay their boss, I'll give you my pass. That's my trial for you. <laughs> it's a mine, so of course it is. You gonna give up and go home? You're joking. Of course we're going. But Java, can you stay here until we get back? Hmm, alright. Show me your spirits as beginner adventurers. Well, you wanna go now, or do you wanna rest first? I wanna go now. Woohoo! I like your spirit. Now go quickly and take care of him. Java is, um, kind of, he's got bad advice. Let's just put it that way. The monsters here, with a few exceptions, are nothing we haven't faced before. So, I'm not really going to touch on them anymore. Um... Like I said, though, I really want to get to where... Hello! I want to get to where I'm giving you guys a visual break through these longer episodes. Anything shorter than half an hour, I'm not really going to give a break for. But it's always going to be at the half an hour mark for hour-long videos. That way you guys have a little break and you get to rest or do whatever you want. You don't have to stop the video if you don't want to. All right, we won. Yes, we did. All right. So yeah, just gonna use advertising as a break for you guys. And realistically, the more you guys watch my videos, the more money I make money I make, the more videos I can do. So, like I said, this is, this is the best way of um, helping support me in this endeavor. Ooh, throw a level up. Helping support me in this endeavor would be for... No, no, and ow. Help support me in this endeavor before I have to do something I don't want to. Like, beg. Right now, I don't really have to beg. I'd like to keep it that way. So, come on, guys. If you guys are a fan of my show, watch it. Watch it a lot. If you guys are a fan of my show, tell your friends so they can be fans of my show. We're clothing. Eh, not as good as what I've got. Really. People like me and Rezo, A Plus Gamer, and Ty, we all pretty much do this out of love. Out of a really strong love of doing the games. But it also helps that we can actually do these games. You know? It kinda hurts things when we when we can't do the games. 
because we've got broken equipment or we need to upgrade something and it puts our production schedule behind and we can't give you what you want which is also what we want you know I love producing videos for you guys I play games that I love to play and realistically I can use this as an excuse to go out and buy games that I wouldn't normally buy or wouldn't normally get to buy what a fish. because they'd be just entertainment for me. So yeah, I know this kind of sounds like begging and in a way it kind of is, but I'm not asking for money. I'm asking you guys to enjoy my stuff. Really, that's it. Enjoy my stuff. The more you enjoy it, the more you watch it, the more money I make off of advertising, which in turn means I get to make more stuff for you guys. So yeah, there's my spiel again. I don't want to do these things. I don't want to do these spiels very often if I can help it. Realistically, I'm not going to do these spiels very often if I can help it. Sticky fluid! Ew! Oh wow, they just nailed Sue the wall. Get rid of the spider. And get rid of the slime. Hopefully. Oh! Luck! Ow! Why you do that? You a jerk. Now the interesting thing All right, we won. about this game that I kind of found out here is that each character has their own separate inventory. That means if you've got grenades on the wrong character, the character you want to use them might not be able to use them because he doesn't have them. So, there is some inventory management to be done. Hello, Herb. More Herbs. There's a lot of that guy around. Hello. Speaking of grenades, that was fortuitous. It's almost like I do post-commentary. Again, this is a case of you really, really, really want to clean out each area as you go through it. Because doing so will get you perfectly leveled for the boss, if not a little over level. And doing so will also net you a lot of the weapons and spell experience when we get to the next area that um, is necessary to get this done. And die. <laughs> Sue, kill him. Throw your ninja star. Now, if I recall from actually recording this, we get through to the very end, and then I cut the episode. I try to get through, if I know it's coming up, I try to get through a full combat sequence before moving on. Just the way of things. Because a lot of times, especially in these, you know, scripted combat sequences, it can be difficult to actually get in a good position and survive when Ah, oh, he's defending. Screw that. It can be hard to survive when um, the abusable save areas are few and far between. You know, there's one per level, and they can be rather difficult to find sometimes. Found that one out on New Farm. All right, we won! Yay, we win again. 
getting a lot of really good weapons experience. And you really want to do that early in the game. I'm going to rearrange my stuff later on so that three slots for Justin are always taken up with um, weapons. He's always going to have the latest and greatest weapon for that particular type. That way, when I need to, I can safely swap out weapons and not lose that much in the way of uh, damage output from him, because Justin is our major damage dealer. Trust me on this, he is. Die, die. <coughs> oh, damn. Sue keeps up with Justin pretty well in range damage. What a cinch! But realistically, Justin's the best character at being well-rounded. Everyone else has some sort of specialty. And as long as you get Justin leveled correctly, it's pretty hard to screw him up. Now you'll note that I did go through this area fairly efficiently. That's because I didn't want to spend three episodes playing around with this. Oh, bro leveled up again. Ow! Jerks. Die. Sue, get a hit in. Oh, who got it? Who got it? Yay! Sue got it! That means Sue got one extra... Yep, one extra weapon point. And we're level 5 with Justin. It's right where we want him to be. The level progression for monsters is actually pretty decent. You're not really going to run into a hump where you have to go and get the right things probably until around um early part of New Farm it's gonna be a while at least two more episodes if not three so there you go Ow, jerk. Keep in mind that these episodes are, uh, they're a lot like my old Fable episodes in that they're an hour long each. So you can kind of tell how long it takes to beat the game just based on how many episodes I put out. And let's heal. Justin has the Rezu Potion, which can be really bad for him to have. Yeah, this is where I discovered that um, everyone has separate inventories. And sometimes you're actually going to want one character to be the mule. Yeah, work cloth is actually worse than what we've got. You want one character to carry all the miscellaneous crap that you don't need anyone else carrying. And look, it's an orc. Let's have Sue go after the spider, the speedles, as uh, Mega Tiger would say. And Justin will go after the orc. Ew! Why do they always go after Sue? Orc's defending, so get the speed orc. Wow. Sue, get the orc. Oh, got both of them. Nice. Just a 
a little bit more, we'll be there. Yay! Sue's almost getting to level. Oh, I will say this. Once we do actually get to the point where we can start purchasing magic, don't give any to Sue. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but her skills will see her through just fine. Yay, free heal. And yet more fighting. As fun as this is, it get it does get kind of tedious and monotonous. I'm still going to say clear out an area if you absolutely can. Uh, lol, nope. Lol, nope twice. What a cinch! Perfect score. And Sue's about to level. Give her a couple of more fights. I think she'll actually level off the boss fight. Another grenade. Yoink. Lots of money. Which, we're gonna need money when we get to the new continent, because there's a lot of stuff that's expensive. Initiative. Baby bats. Baby bats are simple. This is going to be a one thing fight. Even Sue can take out baby bats in one hit. So, there we go. Pretty easy, right, I think Sue has most of the offensive items at this point. I'll have to go in and clear out both inventories. See what I can do about fixing them. Okay, Sue, you've got right side, Justin, you've got left. Kill. Uh-oh. Well. Okay, then. I don't know what the algorithm is for what targets they select. So I just kind of hope that they go towards the center when I split them like that. Okay, this is... an oak shield. I know it says okay, but it's supposed to be an oak shield. Ah! Recovery spot. Which, of course, means there's a boss area up ahead. Salt runes, cruise quarters... Yeah. Game two, at this point, I was already on the ship that we've been hearing about so far, so there you go. I'm, an, I'm usually at least a couple hours ahead in my practice play. The fun part about this is you can go around and get all of the treasure items before you fight the boss. I mean, that's just hilarious. They see you walk in, yoink all of their treasure, and they just don't care. It's like, yeah, you can take the treasure, just don't bother them. And let's go trigger the sequence. Come on. Two orcs and an orc king. And for this, Sue is going to want to save her special points. And... Let's see. We'll use a grenade since they're all flustered up like that. Use it on the orc king. Justin! Kill an orc. gotten in one shot. Well, one turn. 
Hey, Orc King, get back here. Ah, just... No! Okay, you see how the Orc King has magic going? We gotta stop that. Really, cannot let him do anything but hit. Sue, crit, crit him. Keep him firmly behind us. B slash. B slash. The orc boss is actually way tougher than the rock bird. Believe it or not. Justin, V-slash him again. Ooh, this might be enough to cancel his move. Nope. Can't V-slash anymore. But we can crit him. Yep, canceled him. Ooh, critical him. We want Justin to have an oh crap. Kill him. Last hit. And that's it. We defeated the orc. Alright! Big win for us! If we were another level lower, this would have been more difficult. But the basic thing is you wanna get it you wanna get all of his uh, minions out of the way. Uh-oh. This looks bad! We'll be buried alive! Run, Sue! Wanna get his minions out of the way first, and then basically hit him repeatedly. Keep him from having a turn. I know it's cheap, and the computer uses it all the time, but... Okay. What are you waiting for? This way! Get over here! Wake up and get going! The mine's collapsing! Up, up, up. And we're about to learn something very important and see a pretty cool scene at the very end of this. So, guys, relax, sit back and enjoy the Indiana Jones tribute that the makers of this game put in. Yeah, this is totally a Temple of Doom reference. And over we go. Da 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 da. I, I really don't have much to say here. So, uh, I think I'm gonna shut up until it's time for me to speak again instead of the characters. So, I'll see you at the end of this video. Listen, a first-rate adventure never gives up until the very end. But you didn't quite think about how to escape. I'm disappointed in you too. Let me tell you something. A real adventure never loses hope regardless of difficulties. Once you get to the new world of Valencia, don't forget these words and devote yourself even more. Huh? So, Java, you're... You do have a little promise. Well, let's just say you passed. There, a pass to the new world. Take it, Justin. Yes, now I can go to the new world. That's because it's soaked with my blood, sweat, tears, soul, and a few other things. <laughs> Ugh. Listen, Justin. You have now received your wings. These wings are yours alone. My own wings? But don't forget, in times of real difficulty, an adventurer does not rely on a pass. 
You must rely on your adventurer's heart. Rely on your heart to support your body and move your feet ahead. Promise me, Justin, someday tell me your own adventure stories of a world I don't know. I'll wait as long as it takes. Sure, I promise, Java. I I'll be going. Um, Java, can I ask you something? I know, about the little girl. As everyone says, right? There's only one thing I can say. An adventurer walks alone. Understand, Justin? Sorry, sorry. Thanks for the past, Java. I'll treasure it. And with that, this is the end of the show. So, this is Man in the Black Hat. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Grandia on Rezzowalkthroughs.com. Later.